This video will introduce you to cooperative systems and services, developed and implemented in the EU research project CVIS. The focus of the project has been to utilize the emerging cooperative services in order to create safe, efficient and sustainable traffic solutions. The scenario takes place in the vicinity of the Swedish test site and presents a truck transporting dangerous goods from a secure terminal to a port located in Gothenburg. On the route from start to destination, the cooperative system and applications will interact with the driver and provide him with essential information about the state of the traffic and transport, such as local regulations, traffic messages and speed limits. The driver starts his workday and begins by logging onto the fleet management system. Once the driver is authenticated and logged in, he receives his work order. The cooperative system is an important step towards a paper-free transport solution. Today, the work order involves dangerous goods. Dangerous goods are solids, liquids or gases that can harm people, other living organisms, property or the environment. Due to their nature, there are certain regulations that need to be followed in order to minimize the risk of exposure. A secure terminal is a restricted area that requires authentication in order to enter. A digital system such as the cooperative system platform would be ideal for this kind of authentication and validation of driver and goods. Based on the work order, the driver also receives a legal route for his assignment. Due to regulations, there are certain restrictions as to where the truck can drive. The driver must follow a certain route that is optimal according to the current conditions. The driver requests a valid route and registers with the Transport Management Centre and drives off towards his destination. The whole cooperative system platform works like a large network. In order to process and control certain parts of the network, as well as applications, a Traffic Management Centre is used. With the Traffic Management Centre, the fleets connected to the cooperative system can be managed and the prerequisites for all transportation changed. It is a centralized processing hub within the cooperative network. The software running in the truck reports to the back office software at the Traffic Management Center that its reporting region is Kungelv. The Traffic Management Center will be able to track the truck transporting dangerous goods. It's important to know where all the trucks transporting dangerous goods are located and what kinds of dangerous goods they are transporting and in what quantities. This information is used to carry out risk assessments and to plan the routes of trucks transporting dangerous goods in order to make sure that not more than one truck transporting dangerous goods is located at the same time in, for instance, a tunnel in the event of an accident. The truck comes into communication range of a so-called roadside unit. Roadside units are computers equipped with a large range of communication media. The services running on the truck synchronize with services running on the roadside unit. The Dangerous Goods Service receives route guidance information, updated legal routes, etc. The Speed Limit Service receives the current dynamic speed limits in the vicinity, as well as registering any future updates. Information on how and where to report the trucks transporting dangerous goods is provided along with other available services that are exchanged between the truck and the roadside unit. When the truck enters a region, it starts reporting to the local traffic management centre. In this case, the truck goes from one region to another and is handed over to the new region. The truck in this case now starts to report to the region of Gothenburg. Variable speed limits are used to reduce traffic jams and congestion and to increase safety. The cooperative services, such as the speed limit service, complement the existing infrastructure. The service enhances driver awareness. In addition to the traffic signs located in the infrastructure, the driver is provided with up-to-date traffic information in the truck's HMI. The speed limit service can utilize the data in order to inform the driver when he is speeding and instruct him to lower his speed in order to comply with the traffic regulations. The traffic manager lowers the speed limit on a stretch of road affected by congestion. The updated speed limit is transmitted to RSUs in the vicinity of the corresponding roads. The Dangerous Goods Service's route guidance can inform the driver about what routes he needs to take in order to comply with all existing safety regulations. In this case, the driver is instructed to exit the highway at the Klaraberry exit. The reason for this is that there is a tunnel ahead, which the truck transporting dangerous goods is not allowed to enter. The truck is approaching the delivery point. It's easy for the driver to follow the progress of the trip on the Dangerous Goods Service's navigation display. 
An accident has occurred on Hissingsleden. A traffic manager will be informed about the accident and he will reroute all heavy vehicles and trucks transporting dangerous goods by means of a network manager client. With CVIS, the traffic manager will close the affected road section to trucks transporting dangerous goods as well as heavy vehicles. He will also temporarily open up an alternative route for trucks transporting dangerous goods, thus effectively changing the route of our truck. A new route will be calculated based on the new conditions. The traffic manager temporarily opened the road for trucks transporting dangerous goods for sustainability reasons. As few heavy vehicles as possible should be idle at the same time and it's important that trucks transporting dangerous goods do not stand idle but are constantly moving. To inform drivers about the rerouting, a message is sent to all trucks and RSUs in the affected area. The driver receives the new route information and proceeds according to instructions. You have seen how a cooperative systems platform and a number of services developed on that platform can be used to create sustainable and secure transportation. Drivers in the future will be supported by applications running in the vehicle as well as in the infrastructure. Services that enhance driver awareness will provide the driver with information that will make him more aware of the traffic around him and what safety regulations that apply in this specific area he is in.